Hi everybody, today we are unboxing Peter McKinnon series Helix Maglock filter system, variable ND225. Inside the box we have the filter, card for flare application and cleaning cloth. The build quality looks really nice, this is metal, this is rubberized and the logo for Polar Pro, Peter McKinnon signature and the value for the for the ND filter this is 2 to 5 without any additions this is the back the back of the filter this is the front piece to open it these two lines should be aligned and to remove this is the front cap and there is letter F to for the front and back this for the front and for the rear side this is these should be aligned to remove the rear cap. So rear side, this is the filter. And this is haptic, so that you can feel when you change the value of the ND filter. To attach the filter to the camera, you need base a plate with the same size of the thread on the lens attached to the camera. In this case it's a RF 70 to 200. This is a 77 millimeter thread. So I'm using this base plate. First I'm removing existing filter with the cap. I'm attaching the base plate here. Let's attach the camera. As you see here and then come to the filter we align these lines remove the rear cap and to click rotate now it's locked in place it will not it will not be removed it cannot be removed and until click and rotate and remove and for the front cover, rotate, align, click, and remove. And now the filter, now the filter is attached properly to the camera. Here, you can rotate from two, three, four. Now we'll try to use the filter under sunlight. When we put the configuration for the camera as 150 of a second and the aperture at 2.8 and the ISO at 100, as you see the exposure is fully blown out. To have a proper exposure we have to attach the ND filter. After attaching the ND filter and change the level from 2 to 5, now we have a proper exposure and we kept our camera settings. Now we'll try to achieve the same exposure by changing the aperture from 2.8 to F18. As you see now, we have better exposure without using the ND filter. Here we have the two pictures next to each other to show there is a minimum discoloration between the small aperture and the normal aperture with an ND filter on. Personally I like the colors when the aperture is at 2.8 and the ND filter attached to the lens.